it's late in the day, so I'm going to keep this quick. We've all heard the phrase, all lives matter, far too much in the last few weeks. And usually in response to Black Lives Matter. On the face of it, it's an attractive slogan, but I do have a problem with it. I'm not offended by it, and people need to stop pretending they're offended by it, because it's not even remotely offensive. But I do have a problem with it. And the reason I don't like the phrase, all lives matter, is because objectively, it's not true. It never has been true. All lives should matter, but they don't. That's the whole point. Let me give you some examples. So, the Saudi Arabians killed hundreds of thousands of Yemenis not too long ago, and hardly anyone gave a crap. There was no big social media campaign about it. Where were the woke posers and hashtaggers for that? Nowhere. But the Saudis murder one US-based journalist, and suddenly they're getting all kinds of heat from Western politicians and the media are all over it. What does that tell you? The lives of all those dead Yemenis didn't matter as much as that one journalist. So don't tell me all lives matter because they don't. That's the point. Let me give you another example. You might have heard of something called male disposability. You know, there's a good reason why we say women and children first during disasters. Because objectively, objectively, the lives of women and children are, on the whole, more valuable to our societies. It's got nothing to do with chivalry and everything to do with the basic mathematics of human survival, okay? The fact is that all lives don't matter equally. That's the point. I can give you a dozen other examples like that, but somebody somewhere is going to take it personally and have a massive fucking meltdown, so I'll leave it at those two. Look, sure, you can make a moral argument that all lives matter or that all lives should matter. But the reality is that objectively, mathematically, measurably in our society today, they don't. All lives don't matter. That's the point. Now, personally, it really pisses me off that we still have these racial debates and conversations in this day and age. Because every smart person already knows that race isn't a real thing. It's about as real as astrology or creationism. Ignorant people made this shit up long ago, but there's no actual measurable factual thing called race amongst human beings. We are all still genetically, scientifically, very, very similar to those Somalis from 150,000 years ago who decided to leave Africa looking for better sources of food. There are minor physical differences, I know. Like, did you know there are people who live in the mountains of South America whose bodies can filter out arsenic because their environment has more arsenic than the valleys they came from a thousand years ago? But that doesn't make them different races to the people living in the valleys below. They're the same people, you know? Blood banks don't store their stock according to ethnicity, they do it according to blood types. Medical students don't have to take special exams so they can treat different races. And most telling of all, you can all screw each other and breed quite easily. And that's why I really hate identity politics. Because it's a lie, it's unscientific. It tells you people should be classified in ways that don't make any sense. Of course, it appeals to some people because dividing into racial groups is comforting to them, and weak people prefer comforting lies to difficult truths. And the same people who perpetuate the lie about the existence of race perpetuate many other lies too. Please don't fall for them. Oh, and here's a truth that nobody talks about. America. America is one of the least racist societies in the world. And the UK is even better than the US. I've lived and worked on five different continents. I can tell you with confidence, Britain is the least racist place I've lived. Much less racist than Africa, that's for sure. But here's another uncomfortable truth. The most racist cultures on the planet exist in Asia without question. But there's no social media kudos going on about that. Today, there are cultures in Asia that essentially teach the same doctrines of racial purity as the Nazis but there's no trendy hashtags for it, so you won't be angrily talking about that on social media. 
but just ask any black person who lived in those Asian countries, especially the Middle East or East Asia, about their experiences. They'll tell you what it's really like out there. But let's face it, most of you don't actually care. 90% of you just need a fashionable cause so you can join in with some online outrage. Reality, the truth, doesn't matter to you. Just being able to join in with some righteous indignation, that's what it's really about for you. If you genuinely cared about the injustices black people face, then you'd care about all of it, no matter where it's happening in the world. Maybe you should expand your horizons a little further. Look outside of your little social media bubble and learn to start thinking for yourself.